Hi, this is Tally reporting to you from the 2009 PCBC conference in San Francisco, and I'm here with Steve and Dan from Greenblock, and they're here to tell us a little bit about the company and their product. Okay, um, well, Greenblock is a, uh, a manufacturer of insulated concrete forms, and we've been in business, well, we started in business in Europe about 1967, came over to the United States in the mid 80s into North America and since that time the company has gone through a couple of ownership changes and, and here we are today as one of the leading insulated concrete form companies in the nation. And um, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the product that you're showcasing here today? Yeah, we sure will. Um, basically an ICF is made of polystyrene foam and polypropylene plastic web ties. Okay, it's, it's like a, a big Lego block for adults, we like to call them. You stack them up in the exterior shape of your home or your building. It can be used for a residential or commercial. And you put steel rebar in the cavity and then you fill it with concrete. So you're left with a, a solid steel reinforced poured concrete wall that's insulated with polystyrene foam which is a very high R value. So when this thing is done, it's going to withstand a hurricane, a tornado. It's going to give you extremely high R values, energy savings, and um, also the interior air quality is going to be better because you're not getting a bunch of dust and allergens and things like that blowing through because there's no cracks and crevices. And also the foam is, uh, does not support mold or mildew growth. So it's really a, a solid, um, durable building product and we compete frankly we compete with uh, with stick and, and brick concrete blocks and uh, wood frame housing wood frame construction um, and uh, what makes this product different from uh, you know uh, similar products made by other manufacturers you want to handle that Dan yeah. yes um, th there are several manufacturers that, that have very similar products they're also this is called a flat wall ICF which means that, and this is a six inch block, so there'd be six inches of concrete running continuous. Some of the blocks are what's called a post and beam or a grid wall, where you've actually got foam that bridges all the way through. And uh, we feel that this is a much better product than those because you, you've got solid six inches or eight inches of concrete. It's a lot easier to engineer. Nothing ever will infiltrate through the foam that way. So th those are some of the differences. And also, let me, let me just add, Dan, that uh, our web ties are on six inch centers and a lot of our competitors these are the these are the polypropylene plastic web ties um, this is actually the most expensive part of the form so some of our competitors will leave only they'll do uh, like every eight inches on center or every 12 inches on center so on six inch centers it makes for a stronger block a more forgiving block you can uh, pour higher concrete lifts you don't have to worry about bracing quite as much as you do with some of the other products. We also have a um, the uh, the connection system here. is called, it's, it's a male-female nub system. So when you put these blocks together, they're going to stay together. You don't have to glue them together. You don't have to tie them or, or use any sort of adhesive on them. And they're not going to lift when you pour concrete into it. So that's another important feature. So as far as um, areas that are very earthquake prone, um, how does this product hold up? Well, you know, it's really a, a steel reinforced solid poured concrete wall. There really is no, no stronger building material out there. So it's seismically rated. It, it, you'd have to have an engineer that would come in and um, decide which part of the country that you're in as far as what the seismic zone is or the seismic rating is. And then he would tell you, do, you need to use a four inch core, a six inch core, eight inch core. We go with the 12 inch core. So yes, they are, they are, um, uh, earthquake resistant, yes. And um, uh, you were saying this product is very energy efficient. Can you speak a little bit about that? Yeah, um, the, the foam itself is, just the EPS foam itself is an R24, okay? So then once you get the concrete poured inside of it, that has what they call a thermal mass, and then you have a lack of air infiltration going through the wall. So those three elements combined are what's known as the ICF effect. So the actual working in-service R value of this wall is something that's even greater than 24. We don't really like to say an actual number because it depends on your window openings and your doors and so forth, but just the fact that those three combined factors will again make it, you know, somewhere approaching in the 40s or 50s.
And uh, can you speak a little bit about the lead credits that your product can qualify for? Yeah, uh, like I said, energy efficiency, obviously that's number one. Number two is this product is made, all of our products have about 50% reprocessed, recycled materials in them. So you get credits for energy efficiency, you get credits for recycled content. And then the other thing about this is this EPS foam is 100% recyclable. Okay, so when you're on a job site and you have EPS foam waste, you can take that, collect it, and take it to a recycling center. So this foam that it's made out of, you're saying, can be recycled? Yes, EPS is 100% recyclable. What they do is they, they melt it down, they pelletize it, and they, they make things like park benches out of it. And then the last thing is that uh, the interior air quality, that's another lead point or lead credit you can get. And uh, with this product, your interior air quality is going to be much better because you're not getting all the dust and the allergens and things like that blowing into your house. Okay, and uh, two, two uh, final questions. Um, where, it, where is the product manufactured and how would someone go about getting it? Uh, our closest plant right now, uh, we have two in Idaho and uh, we also have one in, in Colorado and it, as far as getting it locally uh, you can get a hold of myself or Steve or one of the reps we have an 800 number you can call in a great website greenblock.com and we've we've got people available that that can ship it anywhere so you sell mainly to professionals or to consumers we do both we do both places that we have distributors and dealers we go through them if we don't have one in place then then they can go direct so I would go to a distributor. You, your products aren't available, let's say, at a retail place. Uh, in some areas they are, and some they're not. So we'd have to find out where you're, you're located and, and either match you up with a dealer distributor there, or if we don't have one, then we could uh, sell it to you direct. Great. Now, are there any um, new projects that your company is working, at, working towards? Well, we have a, a brand new website that we're launching probably this week. It'll be. Um, more comprehensive, it's going to be better looking, it's going to be a little bit more easier to navigate. So that's, uh, that's something new. Um, as far as products go, um, we have, a, um, uh, we have a, a four inch, I guess I should also mention that we have two different types of products. We have a fixed web, which is, which is what you see here. This, this tie is actually molded into the foam during the production process. And then we have, we don't have a sample here, but we have a we have a um, assemble on site system where we would ship these uh, flat polystyrene panels to you and then you would insert the plastic ties on the job site and the advantage of that is that you're shipping this flat and you're getting more on a truckload. So uh, we're one of the, I think one of maybe two ICF companies that have both a fixed web and an assemble on site system. And we also have, we're also the only company to have our own in-house installation services, so we can actually do a turnkey building envelope. We can come in and put the entire building envelope up for, as a, as a subcontractor, up for the homeowner or for the, for the building owner. Okay, well, Steve and Dan, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to talk to me. Okay, it's nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, this is Tyler reporting to you from the PCBC Conference 2009 from Green Block. Thank you.